like very much chillness. You are like high chill pill bro, like that. So. <laughs> Thank you. So, which is the Kannada word that you learnt first? Yeah, go ahead. What's the question? Which is the Kannada first word that you learnt? In Kannada. First Kannada word. Teach me. <laughs> so tell me in English that I will translate it to in the Kannada. No, tell me whatever you want. I, you know, I'm, I'm a I'm a student here. Ella Kannadi garigu. Say it again. Ella Kannadi garigu. Ella Kannadi garigu. Smagata. Smagata. Nano ni mano. Nano ni mano. Prithi sutte ne. Prithi sutte ne. March ipatten takke. March ko ken takke. Cinema bandu nodi god cinema. Say what? March ipatten takke namma cinema bandu. That is way too long. Okay. March ipatten takke. Thank you very much. I tried my best. Thank you, sir. Bless you, sir. My precious. Bless you, sir. Here. These many years, you could have done more movies, many movies. But why Adu Jeevita? And what's the key behind your patience? I think the answer you can get after twenty. <laughs> a small explanation. How was the process? Usually, I, I don't like to speak before the feeling. That's my policy also. <laughs> okay. Our next question, uh, Pruthi sir. Yeah. Have you ever thought of giving up uh, during this process of 60, uh, 16 years? No. No. Hi, Pruthi sir. Pruthi. Malayalam cinema payana. Indo idhi Bharata dadya the yella bhashe garalu a cinema garna nokta idhi. So we would love to know how is it working and being a part of the goat life, and we would love to know how is it associating with the India cinema industry. Jimmy or any movie? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, very very happy to be part of, uh, of the goat life. <laughs> It was an amazing experience with a very talented uh, director, Lucy, and uh, and I had the pleasure to work with uh, with Raji, the man, the master plan, and uh, and yeah, it's it's very. I'm very grateful to be introduced to the Indian audience by such a. I would say it's a, it's a masterpiece of a movie. You know, uh, it was very difficult to shoot. It took Blessy 16 years. Uh, Raj, pretty much the same, me a bit less. Uh, it was a labor of love, uh, based on a true story. And, uh, and yeah, uh, very, very happy to be, to be here in India and to be part of, uh, of what I guess, if you say Indian cinema, yes, it is. And, uh, Thank you for having me. One month in Lebeku. It's equally an immense pleasure to have you with us, and in the cinema, and in the cinema, of course. Um, recent time, nali nama millennial words, so Gen Z words, nali goat ano padana na wo social media dali morte. So he's the goat <laughs> of acting. So thank you very much for joining. The goodness of all, all, all time is the life of uh, of Najib. He's the star of the of, of the thing, you know. I mean, really, without him, there's no movie, so, yeah. Thank you very much. You know, appearance, yaavudu lekkak barodila, a patra ki yeenin beko adhellavu naan agodha kereni. If I have to look a certain way, a patra ki naan yeen bekadu agbhudu, anta prati bari cinema dali torskotan tha nata, namma prathvi rajavaru. Every movie that he does is remarkable because of the sense of passion that he has for cinemas. So, Prithvi Raj sir, The Goat Life, Adu Jeevitam, Nimagay Yashtu. Good evening and thank you to all my friends from the media who made it here. I am usually known as a person from Malayalam cinema taking Kannada cinema to Kerala. For a change, I have had an opportunity to bring Malayalam cinema to Karnataka and I am very happy about that. Uh, for people who have been keeping track of our promotional campaign for the film, I'm assuming this is going to be a done-to-death story. But I believe I owe the curtsy to my media friends in Bangalore to take you through a small 
recount of how this film came into being. <clears throat> so this, of course, by now you all know, is a true story. It's the life of Mr. Najib Mohammed, uh, who, following a series of unfortunate circumstances, got stuck in a desert in the Gulf in the early 90s and had to spend almost three and a half years in forceful confinement under forced labor, pretty much modern day slavery, uh, till he managed to incredibly escape from the desert. And later on in 2008, following months and years of research and documentation, Benny Amin, the author, finally documented the man's life into a beautiful novel called Arji Vidam. It was published first in 2008, and as soon as the first edition came out, the novel was a smash hit. It became almost pop culture in Kerala. And as we speak today, it is still being published, and we are now on the 251st edition. So as soon as the novel com came out, I think the first set of people to be really thinking about the novel were cinema people. Because it immediately came across that this would make an epic piece of film, piece of cinema. And I know personally that back then in 2008, early 2009, a lot many filmmakers, a lot many actors, a lot many producers, not just from Malayalam cinema but from other languages as well, had their eyes on Ardajeevith of the novel to try and procure the rights. But as destiny would have it, it was Mr. Plessy who managed to get the rights. And as my luck would have it, Mr. Plessy thought it was me who should be playing Najib in his dream film, his magnum opus. And that happened in early 2009 when Blessed Sir and me shook hands and we decided that we were going to do this film. So remember back in 2009, Pan India did not exist. You know, the word had not yet been invented. But we still knew all those years ago that eventually when we were able to do this film, we want to try and attain the vision that Blessed Sir had in his mind. And he always thought of this as a big canvas, grand scale film. And we always knew that whenever the film was ready, we would love to have it released all across the country, all across the world, at least in five languages from India. It took us 10 years to finally start shooting because the scale and the canvas of the film was so big that in 2009 it was next to impossible to think of something like this from Malayalam. So it took Blessed Sir 10 years to finally bring about all that was needed to do something like this. In 2018 we started shoot. And uh, unfortunately, in between the shoot, COVID-19 happened. And the world came to a standstill. And we had to stop shoot. We were shooting in Jordan when the international lockdown happened and we had to stop shoot. Not only did we have to stop shoot, our entire team comprising of 80 to 100 people, uh, we were stuck in Vadiram in the middle of the desert in Jordan for almost three months till we managed to get a repatriation flight to come back to India. The shoot was suspended for almost a year and a half to two years till we finally managed to regroup, go back to Algeria, shoot the escape portions of the story. Then we came back to Jordan. We finished what we could not shoot when we went there in 2000. 20, and then we came back to Kerala, did a few patchwork scenes that we had to inside sets, and finally the film got wrapped. Its principal cinematography got wrapped. Following that, there was a year and a half of post-production, and as we sit here on the 28th of March, a 16-year-long journey, most likely one of the toughest films to have ever been made, at least to my knowledge and a very, very challenging piece of cinema is being presented before you. And I'm so happy that we have managed to bring the film to the audience in five languages. And of course, when it came to the Kannada version, I did not even have to think. <laughs> With Hombale and me, we are, we are friends, we are co-associates, and Vijay Kriganthu sir is a very close friend. Frankly, I did not ask him if he will distribute the film. I told him, you are distributing the film. And uh, him being him, he said, okay. Uh, we have worked as hard as we can in the Kannada version as well. We have tried to create uh, as much of originality, keeping the Malayali culture and nativity within the film for the audience who would like to see the film in Kannada. And I have once again attempted the misadventure 
I'm dubbing it in Kannada as well. So when you watch the film, pardon the bad Kannada. Uh, and uh, I really look forward to hearing what you think of this passion project that we are presenting before you on the 28th of March. Once again, thank you for being here. Thank you, sir. I am Ayesha Kannada da Sinma Agana Kerala Dali Ni Distribute Maravira, Present Maravira. Humbale Films is equally happy and proud to present and distribute the bootleg. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, bless you, sir.